back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. It's your boy Taco Bell Wani and the UFC and ESPN have announced a groundbreaking agreement this morning. Now, if you guys recall, I announced this deal about a little over a month ago or a little under a month ago in this video right here. And still, we've only, this is only half of the deal. I'll explain. We're, we've got a lot to unpack in this video, but I'm going to put a link in the description to this video right here um, where I said ESPN and NBC are going to split an expanded UFC TV package. Now, this came from an underground reporter, Therese Owens. It was retweeted by Luke Thomas about a month ago, um, but it was definitely a little premature to announce it. So it looked legitimate, and now it's starting to come to fruition. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Now, with that being said, this is only half of the agreement, it looks like, because the UFC and ESPN have announced that they will be streaming 15 live events but they're also going to be putting more on ESPN Plus, you know what I'm saying, as far as the whole package is concerned. What's going to happen with ESPN Plus? What is ESPN Plus? It's a streaming service where you pay $4.99 a month and you get access to a lot of ESPN content. Now, what's going to happen is for that $4.99 a month, you're about to start getting access to 15 live UFC events. You're going to get some Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series and also access to a lot of the UFC's uh, fight library. Now, it looks what well, all of that was previously available on UFC Fight Pass, which cost $9.99 a month. So essentially, you're going to be getting a UFC Fight Pass for cheaper, right? Um, UFC Fight Pass was $9.99, ESPN Plus is only $4.99 a month, and you're going to be getting a lot of the stuff you got on Fight Pass. Now, there's some stuff that was offered on Fight Pass, um, Invicta Fights, the Eddie Bravo Invitational, Glory Kickboxing, um, some of those types of things that were on Fight Pass, and it hasn't been discussed whether or not those will be moving to ESPN. I don't think they're going to be added to ESPN Plus. So with that being said, if they're left on UFC Fight Pass, I don't see many people paying $9.99 for Fight Pass. You know, you'd essentially be paying an extra $5 a month just for the Invicta, the Glory, and Eddie Bravo. There's going to be some people out there that buy those, you know, hardcore fans or whatever, but there's definitely not going to be any casual fans that keep up with UFC Fight Pass. I know if it were up to me, the main things I were watching, of course, were the UFC Fight Pass live events, uh, the Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series, and use the Fight Library. I didn't always watch some of those other things. So with that being said, if you were someone who purchased Fight Pass, you're actually going to be getting a deal. Now, with that being said, there's some other things to consider here. Um, on Fight Pass, there were exclusive Fight Pass events, I believe. There's a breakdown of 2017 right here we can look at. There were 12 UFC pay-per-views. Now, this deal doesn't take away from the pay-per-views. Um, as far as the deal that's been announced, there's still going to be the UFC pay-per-views as always. So, there was 12 pay-per-views. Those are probably going to stay the same. There were four UFC on Big Fox events. There were 18 Fox Sports events, including the Ultimate Fighter finales. And there were five Fight Pass events. So with that being said, if you take away the pay-per-views, that leaves you with um, what, 20, 27 events that the UFC has to split that are not pay-per-views. Now out of those 27, we see that 15 events look like they're going to be on ESPN+. Plus which would leave us with 12 events for another partner if someone else wants to pitch in to the UFC. Now in the video in the previous reports, it was reported that that would be NBC, but it could still be Fox Sports. I don't think it's gonna be Fox Sports. There's been reports that WWE is gonna replace the UFC on Fox, and Fox is gonna move elsewhere because the UFC and Fox couldn't come to terms. So it looks like the Fox is gonna be moving into the WWE route Fox Sports, you know, replacing the UFC with the WWE, you know, they've got Ronda Rousey and such now. So with that being said, the UFC is going to be moving to ESPN with 15 of their events. Still going to have probably 12 pay-per-views, maybe a couple less pay-per-views um, to even it out. You know, maybe they have two less pay-per-views and add two other free events and they put those on NBC because it looks like there's still um, some UFC events available for another partner. To come in and as as it was reported about a month ago as i said that person partner would be nbc 
But now the details of this deal with ESPN, it's $150 million per year at I believe a five year deal, which totals out to $750 million deal. So a $750 million deal after five years, we know the UFC was purchased for I believe $4 billion. So they're trying to pay back that debt with this deal. Seems like a great way. You're still gonna have your pay-per-views if you're the UFC. And then over five years, you're going to be paying back $750 of your debt. You know what I'm saying? Or I mean, it's not going to all be going back to paying it back, but you get what I'm saying. It's a, it's a good deal. And this is just for 15 live events, plus the Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series and some other things off of the Fight Pass, you know. So they're going to pretty much eat up Fight Pass in my mind. I mean, I don't know what the UFC is going to do with those other events, but I don't see it being too sustainable if you lose Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series, your live Fight Pass fights, and your Fight Library. You know, I mean, you can still get that on Fight Pass, but if you're going to pay, you're probably going to pay half price for ESPN Plus. Because not only on ESPN Plus are you going to get the, this UFC stuff, you're also going to get everything else, whether it's NBA, NFL, all of these things are going to be some stuff that are added to ESPN Plus. So, me as someone who buys Fight Pass, for sure would we'll just get the ESPN Plus because I'm going to get a lot of other stuff on top of this, these things. So as a fan, this seems like a good deal. Um, you know what I'm saying? And now we'll see what happens because you're still going to have to buy pay-per-views to keep in mind. Now, what if NBC comes and swoops up the other 12 or 15 events or however much and they're charging $4.99 a month as well? Are we going to have to pay $4.99 a month for the NBC package as well as $4.99 a month for the ESPN package? You know, all of these things going on. Um, I, we'll see what happens with that. But that's, you know, that's all going to happen starting 2019. This UFC ESPN Plus deal doesn't start till January 2019. So we're going to learn a lot about more about this in the coming weeks and months, I'm sure. With that being said, though, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And also enlighten us if you've got some details about how these packages are about to start working. Because... I'm not 100%, you know what I'm saying? I think this is what people were talking about with that net neutrality shit. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember people were telling me, like, you're going to start splitting up shit. And it seems like we're going to have, like, an ESPN package and an NBC package. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like that might be how the UFC approaches it, as only 15 events are going to be going to ESPN+. Plus and we'll see where the other events go so with that being said it is what it is this is just the beginning let the full-time family know what you think in the comments i'm out and as always thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time i upload a video i'm out da -da 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 -da. it's the motherfucking day of double